is upgrading to Windows 11 the right choice for seniors? As we approach the end of support of Windows 10 in October of 2025, many seniors are wondering if they should upgrade to Windows 11. This presentation explores the benefits, considerations, and steps involved in upgrading. I'm Huey Poplock. Windows 10 will be going away in October 2025. That's when Microsoft will stop supporting it. This means no more security updates or new features. Your computer might be at risk. Many of you are happy with Windows 10. It's familiar and it works. You might be wondering if you need to upgrade at all. Upgrading can be a big decision. It's a good idea to understand what's changing. Then you can decide what's best for you. This guide will help you understand Windows 11. We'll talk about the new features and how to upgrade. We'll also discuss what to do if you can't upgrade. Windows 11 looks different from Windows 10. The Start button is now in the center of the screen. The icons and menus have a fresh, modern look, but don't worry, you can still find everything. Windows 11 has some great new features, bigger text and icons. Everything is easier to see, especially for tired eyes, simpler layouts. Windows and menus are less cluttered and easier to understand. Improved touch controls. If you use a touch screen, you'll find it more responsive and user friendly. Before you upgrade, you need to consider a few things. First, check if your computer is compatible. Windows 11 has specific system requirements. Your computer needs to be powerful enough to run it smoothly. You can find out if your computer is compatible on Microsoft's website. Second, think about your software. Most programs will work on Windows 11, but some older programs might have problems. You should check if your important programs are compatible with Windows 11. Finally, consider the learning curve. Windows 11 is different, but it's still Windows. Most things work the same way. There are plenty of resources to help you learn the new layout. If you decide to upgrade, the process is fairly simple. Microsoft offers a free upgrade to Windows 11 from Windows 10. You can usually find it in your Windows Update settings. Before you start, back up your important files. This will protect them if something goes wrong during the upgrade. If you can't upgrade, don't worry. You can continue using Windows 10. However, remember that support for Windows 10 ends in October 2025. After that, your computer might be at risk. Another option is to buy a new computer with Windows 11 already installed. This can be a good choice if your computer is old or if you want the latest and greatest features. Ultimately, the decision to upgrade to Windows 11 is up to you. Weigh the pros and cons. Think about your needs and your comfort level. What's new in Windows 11? Centered Start Menu. The Start button and the taskbar icons are now in the middle of the screen. Not a big deal, but it does change the look and feel of the Windows window. Snap layouts, organize open windows for easier multitasking, widgets, a customizable feed for news and other information, improved multi-monitor support, a better handling of window arrangements on multiple screens. And here's what I was just talking about, the snap layouts. There's different ways in which you can quickly adjust your screen to hold various windows. The improved multi-monitor support, you see my two monitors is one screen capture here, but it does a really good job with multi-monitor support. And then widgets, just by clicking Windows key and W, the widgets will come up and you can set the various news articles and information and which widgets you would like to have 
you can set that accordingly. Senior friendly features, enhanced voice typing, improved accuracy for dictating text, live captions, real-time transcription for any audio on your PC, and Windows Studio Effects helps improve your appearance and focus in video calls. Should you upgrade? Hardware considerations. Compatibility check. Windows 11 requires a compatible 64-bit processor, UEFI with secure boot, and TPM 2.0. The minimum system requirements are 1 GHz or faster with two or more cores, RAM 4 GB or more, but make sure you have a, at least 8, 16 is preferable, storage 64 GB or larger storage, 64 gigabytes is not enough. 128 is a bare minimum. 256 gigabytes or larger is your best bet. Software compatibility and other considerations. Software compatibility, some older programs may not work well in Windows 11. So you need to check out all of the programs that you plan on running to see if they're going to work in Windows 11. Learning curve. The new user interface may take some time to get used to. There are some subtle changes. There are some things in the way things work. So you do have to have some learning in order to be proficient at Windows 11. And then a support timeline. Windows 10 support ends October 2025. But there's no immediate need to upgrade until then. How to upgrade. Use the PC Health Check app to verify your computer's compatibility. You should do that first to see if your computer is the, has the ability to upgrade. And if, if you need to, the PC Health Check app is at the URL that is at the bottom of the page. And then back up your files. Do that. First, you want to make sure... You've got a complete backup of all of your data, and if you can, do a complete backup of everything. And then go to Settings, Update and Security, and Windows Update. And that is where you will get your update. And then check for updates and follow the prompts to download and install Windows 11. Is upgrading right for you? Some key considerations. Hardware compatibility. Does your computer meet the minimum system requirements? Software compatibility. Your essential programs compatible with Windows 11. Uh, comfort with change. Are you comfortable with a new user interface? And then some personal needs. What features are important to you? Windows 11, a more modern experience. User-friendly design enhanced security, and multitasking capabilities. Windows 11, a more secure experience. Windows 11, optimized for touch and pen. A touchscreen navigation, intuitive touch gestures for easier interaction. Pen support, if you use a pen for your computer, improved pen input for writing and drawing and enhanced accessibility features designed to make Windows easier to use for everyone, especially seniors. Windows 11, making it easier to connect, improved video conferencing, enhanced features for clearer, more engaging video calls, and enhanced sharing, simplified ways to share files and content across devices. So are you ready for the future? A decision checklist. Hardware compatibility. Does your computer meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11? Software compatibility. Are your essential programs compatible with Windows 11? Comfort with change. Are you comfortable with a new user interface? And personal needs. What features are important to you? So here are 10 compelling reasons to consider upgrading from Windows 10 to Windows 11. 
improved user interface. Windows 11 features a fresh, modern design with a centered start menu and taskbar, offering a sleek and visually appealing experience. Enhanced performance. Windows 11 is optimized to improve performance, leading to faster startup times and better responsiveness compared to Windows 10. Better multitasking. With features like snap layouts and snap groups, you can easily organize and manage multiple open windows for enhanced productivity. Advanced security. Windows 11 comes with more robust security features, including support for hardware-based isolation, secure boot, and TPM 2.0 providing greater protection against malware and cyber threats. Widgets and customization. The new widgets feature provides personalized news, weather, calendar updates, and more, all at a glance, enhancing your daily workflow. Six, improved virtual desktops. Windows 11 offers better support for virtual desktops, allowing you to create separate desktops for different tasks or projects, making it easier to stay organized. Enhanced gaming experience. 11 it includes features like direct storage and auto HDR, which improve game loading times and enhance graphics, providing a superior gaming experience. Eight, integration with Microsoft Teams. Some of you use Teams, some of you use Zoom. Windows 11 integrates Microsoft Teams directly into the taskbar, making it easier to connect with friends, family, and colleagues through chat and video calls. Nine, better touch and pen input. If you use a touch screen or a digital pen, Windows 11 offers improved support and more intuitive gestures, enhancing the overall user experience. And 10, ongoing updates and support. Upgrading to Windows 11 ensures you continue to receive the latest updates, features, and security patches, keeping your system up to date and secure. These reasons highlight the advantages of making the switch to Windows 11 from improved design and performance to enhance security and productivity features. Is upgrading to Windows 11 the right choice for seniors? I'm Huey Poplock.